for this video we have a very special tour, the first ever behind the scenes tour of the work in progress diving academy. Come along as I show you the building, the different spaces, just keep in mind as it is it's currently very much a work in progress I'd still say there is about maybe 60% of the work still remaining so keep that in mind as we go through it here so as we pull up to the docks this boat will be included with the diving academy for the reason that it's a nice little diving support boat so we can tie it off here the first thing we could look at is the dock itself so the dock area has a bench a little solar paneled lights and a nice uh, boathouse on the end there so we make our way down to there there is a gas filling station with a huge reservoir under the ground, under the diving center. Almost 500,000 liters. And you could charge your battery for your boat or vehicle. If we come around the back here, this little area, uh, the thought is to put a sea -Doo here. So I may make a new version of the sea -Doo, not the one that I previously been using, make a new version and have it back here. And then the diving boat will probably spawn at the far end of the dock because this area here is actually where you can uh, use that workstation to spawn submarines or boats. So I don't want to make the boat start off somewhere where it's going to be blocking that. Now these lights are automatic. So what happens is once it's nighttime, they come on automatically. We got a nice little atmosphere here. Of course, we have our beautiful sign with the grass around it for the diving academy. We see over there our cantilevered balcony. And you're gonna you're gonna see that in much much detail. So let's bring back the daytime. Of course, there's another bench up here for just sitting, watching the sunsets. And this is what I was talking about. So here you can spawn. boat and when you spawn it it'll pop up right there so I don't want to put the boat to be spawning to be uh, blocking what you what you may be spawning as you're here now if we go into the boathouse we see here nice little wooden floor wooden ceiling goes in with the rest of our uh, yachts and other type of OMA um, gear. Okay, that definitely should not be turning lights off. That's something I'll fix after. But anyway, there's lots of diving equipment, oxygen masks, spear guns, underwater torches, flashlights. So here's where you can get kitted up for diving and hop into the diving boat. Some rafts here if you want to go rafting, all that fun stuff. Now, if we go downstairs, notice we're underneath the boathouse. Now this it's not a secret area but the intention of this area is that instructors can watch as the students are diving and grade them and that type of thing. Very dark little couch area here we'll see. I might add some more things here once I uh, get the rest of the building going but for now we have this. Then we have the utility room. You can disable the lights have that power to that actually solar panel charging main dock power all that good stuff charging equipment now here you can actually feed power from the main building so the boathouse has its own batteries and runs off solar but you could actually feed off the main power building if you do want so that's pretty much it with the boathouse now if we make our way up to the actual building keep in mind this was like 80% complete whereas the building itself 
50%. So the shape is there, I mean, it still may change, but all the interior still has to get reworked. So this is a very much behind the scenes view of what we're building here. So this is where you can fill up your fuel reservoir, pull up a big boat, winch out a cable or a hose and fill up your huge reservoir, but that's feeding the boathouse there. And it feeds the generator up on top of the roof there. So we have another bench, our main entrance, automatic opening door and here we have it a three story atrium area this power switch will not be here but i just have it for testing purposes for now so we have only these lights in the whole complex right now so you'll see but reception desk and behind this is the diving center so what what is the diving center we have a huge reservoir back here that we're going to get to later. Anyway, three-story high atrium, main area, stairs. This will be the security office. This is our elevator shaft, going all the way up to the observation level. And then here will likely be a hospital or infirmary. Two doors, we'll see if we keep this. Just keep in mind, it's all very preliminary. Now, elevator, our diving facility. So if we hop into here, you'll notice a massive tank. I think I measured it out, it's 500 to 600,000 liters in here. So the intention of this, right now it's nowhere near being done. It's gonna be filled out with sunken treasure, sunken ships, and I'm even going to make a challenge for my, uh, for the fans and for anybody using this creation so there's gonna be sort of a treasure quest and what you go is you collect clues underwater here there may be a cave system here that I add we'll see but you go and you collect clues and it unlocks either a secret area or a treasure chest or something but and there may be multiple levels there may be one one hidden challenge in the pool here and there may be one challenge on the exterior dock area so we'll see anyway this will be very much different when you when you see it next because I have a lot of plans for what to put underwater to make it a proper diving facility now here of course we have our uh, laboratory and this wall may open up actually in the future to this and we may put a crane on the, on the end of this patio or balcony to drop um, equipment down from a support ship that may come here and bring right into the lab specimens or anything like that. So even though it is a diving training center, there still is research going on at this facility. Now this door leads us to our loading dock, and this door does, so if we go back to the lobby area, we come through here and we get a nice little loading dock garage area. I will maybe put a forklift or ATV or something in this area. There will also be a garage door, but for now we have this in here. And in the back of the garage space for now is the batteries. So we'll see if the batteries stay here if we move them somewhere else. And then over here we got the UMA cafeteria. So I've started tiling the floor here. The lobby area is tiled, but not here, so we're tiling the floor. Over there is a little kitchen, maybe we'll put a burger sign on top or something. So this is a big cafeteria, we'll have a pool table, maybe over there are some tables. This is kind of the main gathering area when the employees are not working. Then we go up to the third level, of course, look at our atrium from here. Third level, straight ahead is the living quarters, which we'll get to, elevator shaft. We got two cubicles, reception desk, a little skylight, and then here is the door to the vice president, and then of course here's the door to the president's office. Now not much of a view here, you can see the water, but huge office that opens up into the conference room, which does have a very impressive view. So we'll probably have a big table in here where all sorts of discussions go on. Now, if 
to make our way to the living quarters. These two rooms here belong to the two leads. So we just saw their offices, they had the big ones. For the first and this for the second in command, and this one's for the first in command. And of course his opens up onto the massive balcony area here. We have our observation balcony. Let's see the water, of course, really epic out here when you watch the storms coming in or the sunsets. Over here we're gonna have sort of a recreation facility, maybe put a hot tub, workout machine, ping pong table, that type of stuff. So this is kind of a common area for gathering. Then here we have just uh, regular accommodations. This one may be a bunk room, it's a little bigger. And here's likely going to be a door to the big patio and uh, maybe a TV for watching movies and stuff when they're off. Now normally you'd have to take the elevator up to the roof level, but since our elevator is not installed yet, we'll take the back stairs. So here you're up at the generator level. So I've actually finished this generator. It's based on real life rooftop units. So we'll have a control center somewhere probably in that room where the batteries are. And then this generator will automatically kick on or off based on how the batteries are are doing. Of course you could also manually start it. And then here we get to the main roof level where the elevator would actually drop us off. So when this elevator is working you come to the roof level, have our massive satellite dish, and you follow the path here to the helipad. So the base will likely come with its own helicopter as well that spawns up here pathway to this. I'm still undecided what this is going to be. Some kind of utility room, maybe a spare generator or something along those lines. Then if we go up in here, this is kind of the observation level. There we go. It's a little bit of a glitch. You have to crouch as you're getting up the ladders there, but it still works. This is as high as we can go, so I could not add anything to the exterior of the roof here. That level is the highest level possible for this uh, for this map. So we'll see. We're going to add some computers here, stuff like that. Maybe this is where you control the radar. Now if we drop down here, we'll see if we die. A little plunge. Oh, there we go. Good. We'll take the ATV for a little spin up top so you get to see the outside view of the facility a bit better. So the cool thing about this map in particular is you have this kind of little path, access path. Here we go. So from the exterior. The painting is still in progress. It's gonna have this kind of gray hue, the door down there. So maybe a, most likely a concrete building to weather out all the storms as it's sitting on a isolated rock in the middle of nowhere. A lot of patios, very modern architecture matches the boats and ships and vessels of Uma. Actually, one other thing that I didn't mention, this little balcony or patio area next to the lab may have um, an ROV. Actually, inside the diving, the big diving room, there's going to be for sure an ROV that you can test out in these waters. But since this is so small, maybe this is the first stage of the ROV testing. And then the second stage would be out in the actual water out here. So you drop your, your ROV remote operated vehicle down on a crane into the water here and use the control center to operate it. And again, this facility, it's a training facility, so the intention is that people here are training for actual explorations and stuff with their vessels. But there we have it. So with that in mind, it's a big undertaking. There's a lot of square footage, so I'm constantly working on it. 
hope to have it out to you soon. And then other than that, I do plan on releasing other Oumuamua bases for the, um, in the future on the other islands. So yes, that's this and um, stay tuned. We're going to have um, lore as well for Omua, the different um, backgrounds of where, where this organization came from, what it is, and all that good stuff in other videos. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you back soon.